I'm done. <laughs> Ms. Evans? Well, I am as well. Um, what I'd like to. Um, uh, two quick things. Uh, the special events ordinance. We said we're supposed to pursue that. I, I think that's ongoing. Yeah, I think that's ongoing as far as our, our as far as all our ordinances, permitting, and all that. Because we know that uh, they're going to be doing concerts again this year. Mm -hmm. Talking about the homecoming time frame. To my understanding, you're going to have Luke Bryan come as well, but you might have a, a two chains that want to come again. And my thing is just to make sure you got something uniform so it won't appear to be different rooms for different uh, artists. It'll be the same. So, um, the other thing was I, I wanted to uh, possibly have a look at uh, maybe planning and zoning, some type of, I guess, land zoning verification for this upcoming year. And I'm only bringing this up because. Uh, George Ward, what you say? Some type of land uh, zoning verification. Verification. Okay. So, you know, when they came up with the URBC, uh, um, it was contracted now. And it's just that we received at least uh, two or more services that uh, probably have been reclassified and they didn't know it was reclassified or say it didn't. But I just want to know if it's, if it's possible for us to buy it out. In, in a sense, uh, so. When people get ready to put a well on their property, or the grandkids get ready to put a house on their property, that's not when they find out that the, the classification of their property has been changed without knowing, more especially as it applies to ag property, uh, something that's, you know, that's a farm that's been classified like that, and recently changed, I guess, uh, in 06 or So you're talking, really what you're saying is that you'd like to take another look at the ULDC uh, or any specific portion of the ULDC? More so just, you know, when you, when you get older members of this community that are saying, hey, uh, my, my, my property was changed without me knowing. Um, so you're looking, I'm trying to help you get there, so you're looking yeah. at reevaluating the process that we went through when the ULDC was adopted. I don't think she's talking about is. notification. Yeah, I think that if but, but no, but you got to go back to that point to see what properties were changed. No, I, I think what if if you send a letter to every property owner in Lowndes County and said this is your zoning and this is what your zoning is good for, would that tackle? I mean, that'd be a tremendous undertaking. But that's essentially what you're saying. Let's let people know what their property is on and what that zoning is valid for. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. To that to that effect. Okay. Um, more so because, like, like I say, you, know, you got farms that have been reclassified, and the people don't know until you know they get ready to develop or do something that big. And so I would hope that we won't have to worry. Look down the line, say three years from now, and people still coming up saying, "Hey, wait, what happened? My my, my farm was reclassified." And well, uh, our property is the zoning is on your property tax bill, and and, and some people, I guess, they're just gonna look at. The small letters, they just look at the end result, they just look at the, at the amount of money. So, it's it's an education issue, it's not a um, I mean, it because a certain part is on there, but it's also a certain portion that I feel fall on us because you, you can't reclassify something from being ag and it's got 300 cows out there. Well, we don't arbitrarily reclassify anything now, we go through the rezoning process. And when was the ULDC adopted? How long ago? Huh? Yeah. Did notices go out to property owners in chapter six? Yeah. So it's some of those just fell through the cracks, probably what yeah. you're saying, and we need to make sure people know what their property's on. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not my They were not uh, young people. They, they, of course, they were in upper and age, uh, you know, 70s, 80s uh, type. And of course, they probably did. They, they probably was out in the field, or they probably didn't. Well, rather than set the goal, I think it would be simple as they contact you to have them to contact the zoning and get clarification. 
I think maybe it's an educational process and again something with the website is a good way to do that. Uh, we may put some in there and you'll have the possibility of going to the ULDC the links and we can do a little education on there to to you know what is your zone. You know, can add the to put something in the property tax bill to go out next year just a brief description yeah, of just a little a little bit of something. Missing out the taxes you might just throw something in there. I think it's something we can look at to identify something yeah. and um, um, you know, <laughs> realistically, <laughs> when you, when you, let, let's just back up and look at the look at the big picture a little bit. We we listen. We, we hear how many zoning cases the planning commission hears. How many zoning cases a year? Oh, man. We, Phil, now how we many of them? How many of which we since I'll be honest, since the ULDC was put in place for the county, I can tell you, you're hearing a lot less than what you used to. Simply because those guidelines are better defined, the properties have been pretty well identified as what their typical use of those properties are. I can think of maybe two cases that come through in the last year where some, they said that my property was rezoned without my knowledge. I can only think of two. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and, and, and judge whether or not that, whether they actually got that notification or whether they didn't get that notification. In my opinion, most everybody got it. To some, it really just probably was just another letter that just didn't matter, you know. Um, I don't think it, I, I, I want to be sure, again, trying to be best use of tax dollars, you can spend a lot of money creating the documentation, creating the education, creating the mail out, creating ads, doing the things that you need to do that's going to affect a very, very small number of people. I think as you move along, you're going to find that there's that you're probably eventually going to get them all resolved because there's some of these areas that are, and I'll use your example of ag areas that got rezoned they got rezoned because they were already in a growth area i know specifically a couple that we've looked at there were major subdivisions and developments that were next door to them and at that time growth was going pretty strong and construction was moving along and the thought was, okay, well, this area looks like it's going to grow because they're selling houses, they're developing, and this thing's going to build on out. That was just the thought. Uh, I think what is our responsibility would be more prudent would be number one is look at what, try to figure out what's so costly about it. But at the same time, use our head in common sense when one of those cases comes before us to see if it actually is, has some legitimacy about it. My zoning was trying, my, my zoning was changed and it did affect my use of my property and then try to move forward with that. And I'm not, I'm not saying just, just target the elderly, uh, but the truth is the, the, the concerns I've received have been from those that were older. And of course they don't, they might have been looking for them. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't pay attention to the small range, just try to check it. I just, I just, uh, you may have had a lot of folks that you talked about, but I know what we've seen is looking at cases that's coming through that has come through while we served on the planning commission and, uh, and that we've seen all the uh, county commission as well. Anybody have any comments you want to keep in? Anything else? I think in light of what we, of all the cases that you, we have, you and I both served on the planning commission, since you and I have come on the market, this has only been a you know a couple of situations we've had to deal with. You know, for, I think that's pretty good. But I think I think you know, hey, if it's four or five out there out of all the parcel of land owners out there, that's pretty good. We have to deal with it. Since it comes up. Okay. All right. Um, thank you, gentlemen.